welcome to the session today we are going to discuss polymers and some basic concepts of uh, polymers so in in this video we are discussing about polymers what are polymers then its basic concepts like uh, polymerization degree of polymerization classification of polymers and uh, nomenclature of uh, polymers 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 are high molecular weight compounds which are formed by combining large number of small molecules called as monomers the small molecules after combining they give rise to a high molecular weight compound that is called a polymer polymers examples are polythene polystyrene polyvinyl chloride buna n rubber buna s rubber nylon 6.6 .6. these are some examples of polymers polythene if you consider polythene a polymer it is formed from ethylene so small molecules give rise to a huge molecule that is polymer so if we take ethylene ethylene as the monomer let's take n number of ethylene molecules i shown in the picture so n number of ethylene molecules they give rise to a huge polymer huge polymer that is polythene so size of the polymer depends on the number of monomers taken for the formation of the polymer so ethylene ethylene monomer that gives rise to that gives rise to polythene on polymerization the chemical reaction by which monomers are combined to give polymer that is called as polymerization so this is ethylene giving rise to polythene that is one example let's say another example styrene See CH2 double bond CH single bond phenyl group. This is styrene. Uh, n number of styrene molecules give rise to polystyrene. Polystyrene is the so polystyrene polymer that is formed from styrene. So another example is polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride is the polymer that is formed from vinyl chloride. So these are the examples of polymers. next monomers monomers are the simple molecules which give rise to polymers but monomers should have at least two bind binding sites to give rise to a polymer so they may have two three or more so simple molecules having at least two or more than two bonding sites or binding sites they can only give rise to a polymer so small molecules having more bind binding sites two or more bonding sites they are called as monomers examples of monomers are ethylene ethylene giving rise to polymer polythene here ethylene is the monomer similarly vinyl chloride vinyl chloride is a monomer giving rise to polyvinyl chloride i i shown in the picture so these are the monomers monomers small molecules so after the polymerization chemical reaction they give rise to a single huge molecular weight compound that is called a polymer so molecules number of small molecules are monomers they give rise to a polymer next polymerization polymerization is defined as the chemical reaction in which a monomer is converted not a single monomer monomers are converted into a polymer under a given specific conditions so polymerization is the chemical reaction so monomers alone cannot undergo polymerization but they need a catalyst or an initiator to get converted to form a polymer next concept is degree of polymerization number of repeating units so after the formation of a polymer it contains repeating units the number of repeating units present in a polymer chain that is considered as the degree of polymerization so degree of formation is represented with small n that is shortly represented as dp so dp degree of foundation of a polymer gives an idea about the size of the polymer if the dp, DP is low then the size of the polymer is small or moderate if the dp is high the, then the polymer is huge uh, high molecular weight compound and we have the formula molecular weight of a polymer is equal to degree of polymerization or dp of the polymer into molecular weight of each monomer so using this formula we can calculate the molecular weight of a polymer if we know the molecular weight of a polymer and molecular weight of a monomer then we can calculate the degree of polymerization or dp of a given polymer 
next concept is classification of polymers we can classify the polymers based on different criteria so we will see some uh, types of classification of uh, polymers so first one first one is based on the source based on the availability or based on the source we can classify the polymers into two types they are natural polymers and synthetic polymers natural polymers are the polymers which we get from the nature examples are cotton silk wool starch etc so cotton we get uh, cotton uh, cotton is a polymer we get cotton from nature similarly silk wool starch they are also obtained from the nature so they are uh, uh, considered as natural polymers next next type is the synthetic polymers synthetic polymers are artificial polymers so non made polymers are synthetic polymers examples are uh, uh, polyvinyl chloride we we prepare uh, uh, we manufacture uh, polyvinyl chloride pipes pvc pipes so that is uh, uh, a synthetic polymer similarly polythene we are using polythene bags that is also a synthetic polymer and plastics we are using daily uh, different types of uh, plastic items plastic goods so they are uh, synthetic polymers next classification is uh, based on the backbone backbone of a polymer that is considered for uh, a classification so based on that one based on the backbone uh, polymers are classified into two types they are organic polymers and inorganic polymers organic polymers organic polymers uh, the backbone is uh, is totally organic or the, that is totally made up of uh, uh, carbon compound carbon so examples are polyvinyl chloride so whatever may be the polymer the polymer may be is natural or synthetic if uh, if its backbone is organic uh, that is considered as organic polymer examples are polyvinyl chloride polythene and polystyrene and another type is inorganic polymers so backbone of the polymer is an inorganic compound is inorganic and uh, examples of uh, inorganic polymers are silicones magnesium oxides are the examples of uh, inorganic polymers so, so next classification is based on heat treatment so polymers behave differently when heated so based on heat treatment we can classify the polymers into two types they are thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics thermoplastics examples uh, are polyvinyl chloride polythene teflon these are the examples of thermoplastics so thermoplastics can be molded into different shapes and many times by applying heat so they behave differently upon treatment of heat next uh, type is thermosetting plastics so these uh, can be molded only once by applying heat and pressure so they are called as thermosetting plastics examples are bakelite and polyester Another classification is based on the utility. So, based on the usage, we are uh, uh, we can classify the polymers into four types. They are plastics, elastomers, fibers, and resins. Plastics examples are polyvinyl chloride and polystyrene. They their properties are somewhat different. Plastics they are somewhat rigid, so they are plastics. Another type of polymers are elastomers. So, rubber type of polymers are called elastomers. Examples are synthetic rubber silicone rubber these are the examples of elastomers next one fibers along the filament like structured polymers are, they are called as fibers examples are nylon and tailing another type is resins these are uh, resins examples are epoxy adhesives we are using fevicol and other type of ad adhesives they come under resins epoxy adhesives and the polysulfide sealants are the examples of resins so this is the classification of polymers based on utility next classification is based on the structure if we consider the structure of polymers we can classify the polymers into three types so they are linear polymers branched polymers and cross linked polymers linear polymers they have linear structure examples are polyvinyl chloride and polystyrene branched polymers so branched polymers the polymer chains have some branches example low density polythene and okay low density polythene is the best example for branched polymer another type is the cross linked polymers so cross linked polymers they have linear chains and the linear chains are uh, they, they are uh, uh, they have cross linkages the chains are the chains have cross linkages uh, uh, that is the cross linked polymers uh, we can call them as uh, three dimensional structured polymers also examples best example for uh, cross linked polymers is uh, bakelite next classification is based on composition so 
two types of polymers uh, we can classify uh, polymers can be classified into two types based on composition they are uh, one is uh, homopolymers other one is uh, heteropolymers homopolymers examples are polyvinyl chloride and polythene homopolymers they are formed from only one type of monomer example uh, pvc and polythene heteropolymers are copolymers these are the polymers uh, which are formed from different monomers example bona s rubber Nylon 6 comma 6. Bona S rubber is formed from vanadiumide a monomer and styrene another monomer. So copolymers are formed from different types of monomers. Next, next concept is nomenclature of polymers, naming of polymers. So we have different types of polymers based on the naming or based on their structure or based on their composition, they are first one name homopolymers. Homopolymers are the polymers which are formed from only one type of monomers or same type of monomers. Example, polyvinyl chloride and polythene. We know that polythene is formed from ethylene. We take number of ethylene molecules. Then we take number of ethylene molecules, all, all of them belong to the same type, ethylene. So, polythene is an example for homopolymer. Next, next is the next one is the hydropolymers or copolymers. Polymers formed from different type of monomers are called hydropolymers or copolymers. Example, Buna S rubber and Buna N rubber. So Buna S rubber is formed from two uh, type of two types of monomers. One is uh, one three beta diene, another one is uh, styrene. And we can we can see in the picture. So first uh, in the picture, first uh, one represents the homopolymer. So you can see uh, all are made up of uh, all are uh, formed from uh, same monomer. These are this is the polymer and these are the monomer units. So all are made up of uh, same monomer. So that gives rise to uh, homopolymer. Uh, in the, in the picture, the second one second one represents the copolymer, and we can. Uh, we can see in the picture it is formed from uh, two different types of monomer. This is uh, one monomer, this is another monomer. Okay, so two different types of monomers or two or more different types of monomers give rise to copolymer and same type of monomers give rise to homopolymer. Next one, homochain polymers. Homochain polymers are the polymers in which, in which uh, the polymer chain uh, contains same type of atoms, same atoms. We can see uh, in the in the first picture, you can see that is the that is polythene. Polythene we have uh, sorry polyvinyl chloride. Uh, here we have CH two single bond uh, CHCl single bond CH two single bond C single bond hydrogen single bond Cl. So here the polymer chain contains only carbon atoms. See single carbon single bond carbon single bond carbon single bond carbon. So this is a polyvinyl chloride. So this is a homo chain polymer. As the chain contains only one type of atoms, it is called as homochain polymer. Another one is heterochain polymer. Heterochain polymers are the polymers in which the polymer chain contains different atoms. Polymer chain is made up of different atoms. Example is nylon 6, 6. In the second picture, you can see, so this is nylon, uh, uh, this is the structure of nylon. This is nitrogen atom. Nitrogen atom is bonded to carbon. Like, likewise, 6 carbon atoms and then nitrogen atom single bond carbon, single bond carbon and then single bond connectivity and then we have again nitrogen atom. So here the polymer chain is made up of different atoms, two different atoms. They are one is nitrogen atom, another one is carbon atom, two different atoms. So if the polymer chain contains two different atoms, two or more different atoms, that is called as heterochain polymers. Thank you.